Welcome to the How I Just Went podcast with your girl, Business Bitch. I'm here in Atlanta with Queen. Hi, hey, 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 hey. Cannot wait to dive into her dope story. She has many layers of success, many layers of pain, but at the end of the day, she continued the progress. So let's get into it. You know, that's right. Yes. Good introduction. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So let's share who you are and what do you do. My name is Queen. I am CEO of QHA, Queen Heavenly Academy. I have my master esthetician license. Um, so I have over a thousand graduates that I teach lashes, facials, waxing, basically beauty. Okay. And I act. So okay. That's about it. Okay. Yeah. So you're an actor as well? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's get into how did you get into acting? Um, actually, the skits. Um, about four years ago, I was pretty popular on Instagram when skits were popular. So I was working with a lot of influencers back then. So years later, blessings came as I knew people with opportunities for better acting gigs. And okay. I took them and I, and I like it. So okay. it was actually just doors opening. Okay. Okay. Me. And so how did you find the beauty industry? Aside from you being a beautiful girl yourself. Uh, thank you, my queen. You too. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, from the dancing, I used to be an exotic dancer for six years at Blue Flame. So um, I saw a lot of women always getting themselves together, always making themselves beautiful, adding lashes, adding makeup and accessories. So where I'm from in Texas, not into makeup wearing and okay. fashion like that. So it really took me by surprise and I liked it. Nice. So okay. Yeah, I learned it in a whole nother field. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so what year did you come from Texas? Two thousand and twelve, two thousand thirteen. Okay. It was thousand my... no, I've been here thirteen years, so what year was that? Yeah. It's okay, we can calculate later. That's it. <laughs> yeah, but I knew it was way back two thousand nine or something. Okay. Yeah, something like that. And so what brought you to Atlanta? Uh I'm from a place where the streets were in it. You know, I'm 35 years old. So okay. in Texas, I was in things that I had to learn and grow from. So okay. growth pulled me to Georgia. Okay. Yeah, a lot of um, trials and tribulations that God really saved me from. Okay. So that's how I got here. I wasn't trying to leave. Okay. God pushed me somewhere. Okay. My but mother. I had a praying that. mother and grandmother. I know that's right. They Somebody prayed for you. There. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. Amen. So, do you miss the ex lifestyle at Blue Flame? No. Okay. I don't. Okay. Because you know, um, nowadays they glamorize. That's why I started teaching classes. That's why my classes were fifty percent off for active dancers. Because a lot of dancers in there aren't in there for the lifestyle. They're in there for survival. They have kids they have to take care of. They have bills they have to pay. They have goals. They have dreams. But the money and the financial stability keeps them stuck. Okay. So, no, I don't miss the lifestyle. Do I miss the money? At times, yes, I do. Okay. But I know what the lifestyle brings. But that's why I furthered my education and became a master esthetician and instructor. Yes. My money's the same now. Yes. In the beginning, it wasn't. Yes. So did I miss that at times? Yes. Did I miss the um, comfort of knowing you can go and get it and yes. come back with it? Yeah. Yes. For sure. But okay. I, I like to teach. You can do it. Outside of the club, it's the same hustle and business. You just have to learn the new game. Right. That's all. Right. I see you just got your subscribers badge. I saw you. Right? Yeah. Yes, man. <laughs> I got like seven subscribers that fast. That fast. Yeah. Because you know. Yeah, but you know, I got the mentor program on Thursday, so I'm going to try to switch it and use it for them using it on Instagram. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Versus tips me using Zoom. Zoom. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How about that? Absolutely. And so, what did the process look like? when you merge into the esthetician process? Hard. Okay. It was very hard because I became a mother at that time. I'm a domestic violence survivor. So um, when my job had gotten broken, I had found that I was pregnant. I couldn't go to school. That was my, I wanted to go to school while I was pregnant, but God had other plans. Um, the school was Monday through Friday from 8 to 4. There's no way me can build a business surviving and go to school every day. I have right. a child to worry about. I have to reheal myself. Right. So it was very hard. So I had to wait to after I had my daughter, but I made it 
a, a, a priority to go to school. Okay. Once I got in school, I still ran my business. So it was it wasn't easy, but it was interesting, and I liked it. Okay. So it kept my attention. Okay. So you so you taught yourself the trade. Yeah, I'm nice. in school. Okay, and I and actually then... started teaching at the school before I graduated because oh, wow. she knew I was teaching lash classes. Okay, and stuff. But my bit is just all went together. I just try to be what God aligns me to be. Right. I don't know where I'm gonna go. Right. But I know if I listen, you tell me be somewhere. And I know it's to benefit my future. It's gonna help me. I'm gonna do it. Right. Whether it's free, a big gig, it's not. It's gonna get better. It's gonna work for me later. Right. I, I try to teach people that. A lot of people don't understand that. So right. I like to show the real process, not the glamorous of it. I want you to understand to get where we're at, it takes a lot of work. Yes. So, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it was hard. It's still hard. You think yeah. you know, you look at me like cause my I have a lot of competition in the beauty industry, but it motivates me. It doesn't discourage me. You know, it, it makes me want to get there. And a lot of people think I'm somewhere, I'm not know where I want to be, okay. but I am a blessing to be influencing others. Absolutely. And people don't, you know. Right. <laughs> and so how do you stay up on your game with the, all of the competition? And when you say that it's a lot of competition, you're speaking about here in Atlanta? Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, in Atlanta and so. What would you say two things that keep you relevant? My authenticity. I'm just myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm affordable. Okay. That that keeps me very booked and busy because I'm not trying to break your pockets. I'm just trying to make you look good and teach you some game. That's all. Got you. I'm just here to do my calling. So me being me and just giving a real great result. Right. Results bring people. Uh-huh. When people do greatness and you're a part of their story, people, other people want you to help them be great. Absolutely. So that's how. Awesome. <laughs> so if I wanted to enroll into your electrician, program. How long is that program? Uh, Well, currently, I'm only taking people that already have their 1,000 hours in the aesthetics field. Okay. Once you get your 1,000 hours and you're registered with PSI, then you can come to me and I can get you certified. I'm sorry, get you licensed with the board. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so what's PSI? Uh, It's the the program that goes with you with board. You have to register with them first, send in your birth certificate, your information. They clear who you are. They clear you have your hours, that you've done everything you need to do with the school. And then you're on off to go get your license. Awesome. That's when I come in. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like When it. it's time to talk to the big boy. Yeah, the real come holler at me. I yeah. know, that's right. Your lashes are popping. <laughs> Thank you, my queen. I really appreciate you're it. You're welcome. I do. So where, what can we expect from you within the next five years, I'll say? Hmm. Five years? <laughs> Success, changing lives. Um, I'm very into church, as you know. A lot of women like me don't speak or get a second chance. So you're going to see me touching a lot of women's lives, and you're going to see me on a lot of gospel channels versus reality shows. You're going to see me doing things that we normally don't do of my image. You're going to see yeah. me in five years from now. Hopefully, hopefully Tyler Perry, how let me get something going on. Right, because right. Because I'm going to do something with him within five years. You nice. know, that's where you're going to see me in five years. Nice. Because you already in the active industry as well. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I got can, some stuff going on. So could you give the watchers um a summary of some of the things that you did in the acting industry? Um well you can go on Tubi right now. Um I have New Year New Us. That was number one in twenty twenty for the Valentine's Day movie. It actually dropped I didn't even know it was on Tubi until Valentine's Day. Oh I had just had Miracle and everybody kept calling my phone, telling me I was on wow. t- on Tubi. I didn't know what Tubi was. Right. So that opened the door for me, too. Nice. Shout out to Nina. New Year, New Us 1. We have New Year, New Us coming out. Motion is coming out the end of this year. Detroit 2 is coming out the end of this year. I got a lot of stuff. Finding Love is coming out because I survived a lot that I didn't even know I could survive. So I'm proud of you for um, staying strong. Serena Williams, she says she hates her pain more than she loves her progress. So when you remember the pain, the progress is cool, but when you hate that, you just do everything that you have to do to keep it. Yes. Yep. Listen. <laughs> and and seriously, yeah. for me, I recommend using those painful experiences, obviously, to grow from it, right? Yes, ma'am. Use those painful experiences to turn into pleasant. Yes, ma'am. But at the end of the day, I'm sure you could write a book on every painful experience. Mm-hmm. 
opportunities so you can turn every pain into a business. They grow from it. So cheers to you. Okay. You don't have no. I have some okay. water, but that's it's okay. Cool. I'm going to cheers to my water. <laughs> I'm yes, drinking water. I appreciate that. But cheers that. for everything, all of the pain that you went through. And I know this is just you in the mill. You know what I mean? Yeah. You go with a whole nother Thank level you. in the acting industry. You already helping out the women in the beauty industry. Yes, ma'am. And I appreciate you being the guest on this podcast. I appreciate and the you opportunity. Take, take me last minute like you did, so I appreciate that. Yes, a lot. for sure. And tap in, guys, because we are doing something in the very near future that's going to blow your mind. It is. Just a high five and cheers to that. Cheers that's to that. that. <laughs> yeah. I am so that's excited. That's going to be super dope, super major. God aligns women and people at the right places at the right time. So. Yes. For sure. I'm very excited to be. It's really an honor to be in your presence as well. Thank because you. Because I really came to you a long time ago. Thank you. Yes, you mm-hmm. did. Yes. And so tell the people how to get in touch with you. Uh, my name is Justice Lee on IG. It's Justice J U S T. Just type in two eyes and I should pop up. Um, from there, you'll get all my information from my school. It's in my bio. Um, I'm accepting new clients as well as new students. Um, feel free to contact me. I do reach back out. I promise. And I know I'm busy, but I promise I reach out. Yes. She <laughs> had a beauty school, y'all. Okay. Yes. I love Tap my school. with her. You I heard her it. story. And I'm sure that just um, exposed you to another layer of her. Mentor program every Thursday. I normally call y'all on Zoom, but I've had so many amazing guest speakers on Thursdays that I'm going live on my Instagram. Thank God for the subscription yes. because now I'm going to put it all together. If you want to become a member, you can still send me your information, but go ahead and just subscribe and I'll go from there with you. And it's going to be phenomenal. It is very great. Every Thursday at 8, it is the bomb.com. Oh, you're welcome. Thank y'all. You're welcome. Just, I, I got one more podcast. Yours is probably the funnest one. I know. I'm getting mad with y'all.